Hi everybody and welcome back to another vlog. So today's vlog is going to be all about being a mature student. And for those of you that don't know, I am 35, I know. Um, I don't feel 35, I still feel like I'm in my 20s, it's crazy. But here I am, I was a late starter to university just because life happened, a lot of things happened. I think I've spoke briefly about it in previous vlogs. I'm not gonna go too much into detail about it, but I was a very late starter and here I am loving life at university. So first things first, if people are telling you you're too old to go to university, if you feel too old to be at university, please erase it, erase it, erase it, erase it. Nobody is too old to do anything in this life. Life is for living and do you know what? You might live until you're 110, you don't know that. If you're in your 50s, you're only halfway through that life. Come on, live it. <laughs> so no, university isn't just for young people. My university in particular, Birmingham City University, is amazing at supporting older adults, mature students. It's absolutely fantastic. And just please erase those doubts that you're too old. We've got so many, actually quite, maybe about half of our cohort, possibly. I'm trying to judge it in my head now because some people I don't know how old they are, but I'm gonna guess half of my cohort are over 30. And we've got people in their 50s, we've got people in their 40s, 30s, and then we've got the, um, people that are sort of 20s. I don't know if there's any 18, 19 year old. I'm not sure. It's just amazing. They, they are doing fantastic. The people in their 50s are doing amazing. They are smashing this course. They're, yeah, so please, if you are in your 50s or 40s, just debating whether to go to university, do it, just do it. So for me personally, I am not married. I don't live with my partner. I live in a shared house. I am very much estranged from my family. Um, as some of you may know, my mother passed away. I, I've never met my biological dad, but my dad that I call my dad, who's amazing, lives in Liverpool, um, and he, he struggles to feed himself, let alone to even help me. So I am completely on my own with this degree, financially. And do you know what? I've coped all right, I've done well I think. Um, and I think the key to coping well when you've got rent to pay, bills to pay, loans to pay, phones to pay, all of that, books and stationery and everything for uni, let's not forget that, oh my God. But um, I think the key to doing that is you need to prioritize your workload, you need to prioritize physical work to get money as well on the side of the degree. And you really need to organize your time and just do that wisely so that you've got enough money to keep you going throughout this degree. Because let's face it, it's horrendous. <laughs> it's um, not funded and all the new students are having to pay yourselves to work basically in theory. But actually as new students, you do get more than I get right now. So I get around, in total with my bursary and student loan combined, I get around 7,000, 7,500 a year. I know, who can even live on that? But I think with the new system, you get a little bit more, but it does depend on your circumstances, if you've got children, if you're married, if you live with parents all of that jazz. So please look into that for yourselves and work out your own financial situations and your own budgeting and all of that. This is just me, my own personal circumstances. And I'm just gonna run through sort of how I cope and how I've managed. And I'll probably tell you my bills. I'm not ashamed to tell you all of my bills, it's fine. So I live, I don't have my own place. I live in a shared accommodation. I have amazing housemates who I love to bits and we all get on. Luckily I've landed myself really well with that which is amazing i pay 360 pounds and that includes all of my bills included um which is much cheaper than living in halls so if you're weighing up living in halls or getting your own place have a look around don't just jump straight into halls please have a look around but it's up to you it's your life you want to experience halls and university life then go for it but it is that little bit more expensive so for me, I have my rent, I have my phone bill, I've got a, an old loan that I'm paying off still, I've got my credit cards, I know it's horrendous but they're there unfortunately. I also pay for my Apple Music because I need that in my life obviously. I also have Amazon Prime which is absolutely amazing, Amazon Prime, we get student discount, have a look at it. I've also got Netflix and I think everything just combined into one, all these little tiny bits of payments that I've got that I probably could cut out but 
if it comes to that point that I need to cut them out, I will, but they're my little luxuries that I add on. So I keep them. So for now, um, I think my total outgoings, this does not include travel and food, is around £770 a month. I know, £770, that is horrendous, that's a lot. When I sat down and I, I thought, okay, I need to figure this out and work out what I actually pay out completely so that I can let you guys know. And to be fair, I do keep a document, but then there's new things that I hadn't added on yet, which I've added on now, and it is £770, which is shocking. Yes, and my incomings for the month with the bursary and the student loan combined, I get around 650 something a month. So I need to physically pay, well work, to pay the extra 100 and odd pounds to pay my physical bills. That's not including travel and food, like I said, and general living. So what I do is I do all of my bank shifts, all of my work, all through my annual leave. So I work just as much as possible throughout my annual leave, which no, it's, it's not ideal, but I have to do it to live. So uh, yeah, nursing has to come first. So I work all of my annual leave and then when I'm at university, I will pick up. So if I'm only in university for two days a week, I will work for the other few days of the week and just pick up the extra money there. I try not to work when I'm on placement just because I'm very cautious of how much we're doing out there on placement. All of the hours that we have to do, I don't want to overdo it and burn myself out, so I try and avoid that. So I managed to, luckily managed to, get enough money together to cover me for all of that and I can live comfortably off of that. I do have to budget. I buy things like rice in bulk, pasta in bulk, all sort of tinned soups and things. I buy frozen veg, I buy everything, oh, and tubs of sauces. I've got actually a whole rack of spices as well, which is amazing because they last forever. So if I wanna make a rice dish, I've got all the spices there and I can just make it together. So I'm not forking out for sauces and things all of the time, but I do also have backup sauces just in case I fancy a change and I'm lazy. But um, yeah, so that's the way I do it. I book buy everything and make sure I've got enough things to make my dinners and eat and live and I really 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 do budget with things like that. I will always look for bargains on Groupon, on line vouchers for Domino's and things if I'm going to eat out. I will, I'll be really really strict with myself like that but I'm also okay with treating myself every now and then, that's okay too as long as I've got the money to do that. Anyway, moving on from the money side because this is going to be 101 hours long. If you want any more advice or anything, just let me know. I can talk to you privately, whatever. Let me know and I'll talk to you about it. So yeah, so moving on. As a mature student, so I did my access course back in 2012. So I've been out of school for all of that time, five years. I didn't know, I completely forgot about Harvard referencing and all of that. I completely forgot physiology. I know, it's horrendous. So I was starting, I felt like I was starting university with a fresh pair of eyes and it was really daunting. And I felt my first few sessions of physiology, there was so many people in the room that were putting their hands up and they were answering the question. I was like, how do you even know this? How do you know this? And I'm sat there like, oh God, I need to revise. Um, and you do kind of feel like that to start with, but once you get into it and once you start revising and reading up on things, you're gonna be amazing, I promise you. Um, I, like I've said before in previous vlogs, I'm not academic. I left school with no GCSEs, nothing. I hadn't been in a classroom for five years because that's how long ago my access course was. And first year, I smashed first year. I, oh God, like all of my grades were 80s, 90s. And I think you will find that, I think everyone will find that as well in first year, your grades will be up there. And then when you get to third year, they sort of dip a bit. My grades have dipped a lot in third year, which is unfortunate, but I've passed. It doesn't matter, I've passed either way. But what the point was, was that if I can do this, anyone can do this because I'm not academic. I have never been academic. It is really daunting. And to start with, I knew, I felt like I knew nothing. I didn't know anything, especially with the physiology and essay writing side and things like that. So for me, I found it okay. I genuinely find it okay. As long as you put in the work and the revision at home, do loads of independent study, you're gonna be amazing. And please, please, please don't worry about any academic side of things because you can do this. If I can do it, and actually there's quite a few people in that class in our cohort as well 
that are exact same boat that haven't been in school for 20 years maybe and they can do it and they have successfully successfully passed this course and done this course and they're getting really high grades as well so please don't think that you're going to be too stupid or you're doubting yourself or feeling unconfident about the academic side because you're going to smash it there's so much help out there for you as well you've got your library you've got your personal development departments you've got your personal tutors you've got your module leads you can have one-to-one -one tuitions please don't think that you're alone in this because you will have all of those the support at university as well as your friends that you're going to make at university and it's a massive massive help and one of the other things I wanted to mention as well is about making friends as a mature student. I know that might sound weird, but I think for me, things were so much easier when I was younger because I was so much more confident. I would go up and speak to anybody. I w wouldn't care what I was saying. I'd be like, hi, how are you? I'm you. Yay, let's go. Be my friend, please. Wow, people must have really hated me when I was younger. But anyway, I'm not like that now and people often question oh my god you do vlogs you're you're like really outgoing you're confident no i'm not uh this is me in my room on my own talking to people that i can't see the whites of the eyes so it's very very different for me and when i first started university it was a bit like get your head down don't speak to anyone don't know anybody just get down do your work don't worry about it um, and there was a couple of occasions, I think I've said this previously in a vlog, but I'm just going to repeat this just in case you didn't catch it or didn't watch that vlog. There was a couple of times I tried to make friends. I won't mention the people's names because I do speak to those people now. They're not in my group, but I do know them and we do speak, but um, they're in our year, but not my group. So I tried to speak to two people in class and I was like, yes, I've made a friend, I've made a friend, I've made a friend, yes, I've spoke to someone. And they just sort of got up and left and didn't say bye. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't have any friends <laughs> and I was gutted I was like oh today's not the day I'm not making friends today and I think I saw, oh god I feel myself going red thinking about it and um and I think after that I was just like Do you know what? I'm just not going to speak to anyone I'm just going to keep going with my work because I'm really bad at making friends and luckily it was my I don't think she'll mind me saying this but it was my friend Emma and I was in the Costa queue getting a coffee and I remember her just coming up to me and be like, do you want to come and sit with us? And I was like, yes, <laughs> I've got a friend. And it was just so good. Um, oh, it's making me emotional thinking about this because I'm coming to the end. Oh, oh my God, why am I so emotional? Do you know what? So as you know, we've just had our final week at university and I've been waiting for it to hit me. And, um, and yeah, I've been waiting for it to hit me and it hasn't hit me. And I thought this is really strange because it's my final week at university. I should be sad, I should be really upset. Like, why am I not emotional about this? Oh, and there it is, <laughs> I'm emotional. Um, yeah, I need to sort this out. I'm gonna ruin my makeup. I've got the Health and Social Care Awards today and I'm doing a vlog before it. Sorry, anyway. It's really emotional thinking about when I first started and how far I've come and what amazing friends I've made. Um, so I think oh, my point was, I think, was that you will make friends. Um, please don't worry about that. You're going to make amazing friends and they will be your friends for life. Wow, I did not expect that. That came out of nowhere. Okay, whew, move on. So... Um, yes, you will make friends who will be your friends for life and just please don't worry about that because you will feel really daunting. It will feel really daunting to start with and you'll feel like, oh my God, I'm not going to make friends. I'm older. I'm not going to get on with people. Is everyone going to be too young? That may, might be another worry, but actually, no. There's so many mature students in nursing. You are going to be really shocked. That was one thing that shocked me, I thought, because I was thinking the same. I thought... It's gonna be all young people there's not gonna be anyone my own age and actually everyone is in the same boat and there's a really nice mixture of younger and mature students and it's really nice and those younger students are really mature i know the ones in our cohort the younger ones are really mature they've got the head, head screwed on and they're going to be amazing nurses so that's really really nice to see as well that you can get on with everybody so please don't worry about that you will make your friends they're going to be your friends for life it's going to make you emotional when you come to the end but yeah don't worry but just all in all 
just wanted to say please don't worry if you're a mature student you're going to be fantastic academically work balance life you will be okay and you will get into that routine of doing things and you'll just adjust eventually and it will take a few months i'm not going to lie to you it took me a good three four months to get into it and to adjust to uni life and all of that but once you get into it it's absolutely amazing and you will not regret making the decision to go into nursing whatever age you are just do it because it's the most amazing rewarding career it's been the most amazing journey and you're gonna absolutely love it and i just wanted to say on a final note if you are struggling if you need any help if you need any advice please 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 contact me um my inbox is literally always open doesn't matter where you're from who you are what your struggles are please message me and if i can help in any way at all i don't know all the answers obviously nobody knows all the answers but if i can help in any way um i will and if i can't help i will at least try and signpost you to somebody or something that can help you and just hopefully um you're gonna be okay but my inbox is open on instagram twitter facebook emails youtube anywhere you want to contact me please just contact me and yeah so i just want to say if you are a mature student and you're going into nursing in september good luck i'm really excited please 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 document your journey please blog about it tweet about it facebook it put pictures and everything everywhere because it's really nice to keep those memories that's my last ever tip um for this video and it's just amazing to look back at and i really want to follow your journey as well so please let me know if you've started blogging vlogging tweeting facebooking anything please let me know so i can follow your journey because it's so nice to see and if i can help i will like i said so yeah so that is it from me i will see you all next week i'm not 100 percent sure what video is going to be next week it'll be a surprise yay um but hopefully it won't be a mess like this one so have a great week everybody and i shall see you next sunday